Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just started to get this unit up to temperature because I had an um, air pressure switch problem. It's lighting up now. I currently have the filter removed from the flue because I believe it was blocked. Gonna pull it back in later. For testing purposes, I also removed the condensate trap in case it was blocked. So inside here is where I got the fuel filter from. Found the fuel filter here, it was, in, it was quite dirty. So I first of all checked my air pressure switch hoses. That sees hoses here, that hose, this hose. Check my wires, you have to check your wires as well. That they're all connected right around back to the PCB. Ideally, I would like to would have liked to have got the bolts out. These bolts. There's four bolts there in order to get to the burner and then remove the burner but this burner is not like the usual that is at the top it's at the bottom so it would be a nightmare to get it out there's not much access so i'm going to print out my combustion readings as well to see if i'm getting good combustion readings and leave the printouts on the boiler this is the pcb all is um, in connection all is on there This is my operating pressure, or should I say, working pressure from the inlet of the gas valve. This is my combustion readings. Ensure that you check your fags, your flu, your air, your gas, your safety devices. Ensure that things are clipped properly, that there's not too much movement. Check your gas supply is clipped. I'm gonna recommend that this gas pipe get clipped. I don't see much clipping on it, so I'll, I'll flag that up. Um, I'm gonna carry out a CP15 for this installation. And um, leave my printout on the unit itself. Okay, remember, check your flu, your air, your gas, your safety devices, your 26.9 checks. Okay, until next time, bye-bye-bye.